Hello, my name is Andy and welcome back to the Parish Notice Board here on Sunday, May the 15th. And I've got a special guest with me yet again. Nikki's here for another episode. Let's see what we've uh, got to talk about this week. Another epic episode. Another epic episode. Well, last <laughs> you might remember, last time Nikki was with me for a notice board, it was 20 nearly minutes. 20 minutes long. I don't think this one's going to be quite as long because I haven't got as much to talk about this week. Let's see what we what have. about me? I might got not. to talk about. Have you? I might. Oh heck, <laughs> what have I done? Okay, so we start with guess where I am. Now this week, I've got a village pond for you to have a look at. It's not a small pond by any stretch of the imagination. This is quite a large pond. And it's a beautiful day to be sat It by certainly it. is. Would you have a look at that sky? Beautiful blue sky, beautiful pond. Where is this? Answers down below if you think you know where this is. And that brings us to last week's answer. Well done if you got this. I was in Beckwood in Collingham, which is close to Weatherby in the city of Leeds. Well done if you got that. And uh, I also, while I was in Collingham, filmed an episode of Tales from the Village Green. If you haven't seen that, it's episode three, and I talk about turnpikes and milestones. And Nikki actually learned something from that, didn't you? Yeah, I did. What did you learn, Nikki? Well, I did know that there, some of them were listed, or most of them were listed, yeah, and I didn't know the actual meaning behind them. So, you know, that was what, that episode is kind of the epitome of what the ethos behind the tales on the village green is because even for us doing this i actually learned something although i've been out filming it's the first time i've you know i just come home and said okay i've done this tale from the village green have a look and i've gone like do you know what i didn't know that every day's every day's a school day unfortunately yes Right, I've got three things to talk about this week, which is a little bit less than the last time Nikki was with me. There was 12 things, if you remember. <laughs> so it won't be as long. Right, the first thing is to do with the East Riding series. Now, I had an eagle-eyed follower the other day tell me that uh, at the end of the Sancton video, the, the little slide which shows the route around the village accidentally says East Riding. There's two eyes. Um, but I've said this before, the... Um, the editor I use doesn't have a spell check function, which is kind of one of the reasons why I moved away from captions and went to voiceovers because I didn't really need to check what I'd written. Um, but thankfully, that's not going to be a problem for much longer because of these new changes that are coming to uh, the videos, which will mean that the template, the template I, I use, will definitely be right every time because it's the same template I use for everything. Before, I was basically making templates sort of two or three at a time depending on how many I was filming in, a, in like a batch if that makes sense so because of that new bold sanctum and market Wheaton which is the episode you will see next week in the East Riding uh, that will also say East Riding on the end slide but it won't be uh, won't be a problem moving forward with the new templates so uh, yeah thanks for the heads up but uh, shouldn't be a problem going forward Okay, the next thing is to do with North Lincolnshire. Now, the eagle-eyed amongst you may have noticed that the North Lincolnshire episodes, which are currently up on the channel, they've changed slightly because the number of parishes is not 57, it's actually 56. And that's to do with Messingham. And I discovered this whilst doing the preamble for Curtin and Lindsay, which is coming your way on May the 25th. Messingham combined with the former civil parish of home at some point before I started doing this adventure and I didn't realize uh, and so because of that there are only 56 and not 57. Um, I can't change the maps in the episode but what I have done is I've changed the the number in the title and the description mm -hmm. so hopefully um, you can be okay with that. Yeah, follow the title, folks. Yeah, is that, follow the. Is that mess with the ten thousand four hundred? No, I had no. I had to check that. I had to check just cool. to make sure that there was ten thousand four hundred forty-nine still, and there are, um, which is what leads me to believe it was probably, probably um, before, an yeah. amalgamation before I began, because otherwise that number would have changed. So yeah, the maps look wrong in the uh, existing episodes, but going forward they will look correct. Now, on that topic of boundaries changing, North Yorkshire is set to undergo a massive change next year. 
Currently, North Yorkshire has 10 areas, seven of which are district councils. Then there's the City of York, which is a unitary authority. There's Middlesbrough, which is a unitary authority. And there's Redcar and Cleveland, which is a unitary authority. There are actually 11 if you count Stockton on Tees, but that's, a, that's an anomaly which I need to get to when I eventually cover County Durham and the very northern part of North Yorkshire. I'm focusing this part though on the seven district councils, one of which I've got a series going already, that's the district of Selby. What's happening next year is those seven councils are being abolished and they're all combining to form one singular unitary authority. The most unlocal council that I think <laughs> I've ever, I think I've ever had the, uh, <laughs> I think I've ever known. The parishes Be are staying though, right? Yes, the parishes will stay, I believe, I believe. Um, they may, they, they, I mean, I, I can't imagine they wouldn't change their boundaries in any way, shape or form. Uh, but the councils are going. So the, the, Selby, the Selby series I've got going at the moment will become almost obsolete. And that leads me to, to what I'm going to be doing on the channel when that eventually happens. The city of York is staying as it is. And York will be the one I go for after I've completed Selby district. So in the short term, it not, it's not going to make a massive difference to me. However, when York is finished, what do I do with North Yorkshire? Because by that time, it will have become one whole thing. Now, I had a few options. Do I, do I make a separate series for North Yorkshire? Do I keep the, the seven districts going as they are? You know, Harrogate, Richmondshire, etc. Um, and I haven't yet decided. Let me know what you think I should do as regards North Yorkshire. And that brings us to the coming week. Now, next week, I'll be filming on Wednesday and Friday. I know it's normally Tuesday and Friday, but once again, something special is happening that should have happened this past week, but I'll keep stum as to why it had to be next week instead uh, for now. I'm not saying nothing either. I know you know, but... <laughs> I don't know. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. So on Wednesday, you will find me in North Lincolnshire. I'll be in Manton, Hibblestow and Scorby. And on Friday, I'll be in Selby. I'll be in Biggin, uh, Kaywood, Ulliskelf, and please, 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 if I pronounce this wrong, tell me before I get there, Rither come Ossendyke, which is a mouthful. Um, if, I've seen that after a few days. <laughs> if, if there are any Selby locals out there watching this no, uh, that know how to pronounce that properly, please do tell me before I get there, or else I'm going to look a right wally when I turn up in Rithercum Ossendyke, and it's actually pronounced something like Rithercum Ozendyke or something like that. <laughs> well, it's because we have a disclaimer, really, isn't it? It is, yeah. And that dis that disclaimer's worked this week, actually, because uh, the Burnley series has been uh, coming out all week, and um, it's been very well received by people, by the way. Um, and the only the only thing really that people have been saying is is, is how I pronounced Haggit in the um, in the parish of of, of, of Briarcliff. Apparently it's Haggate, but that's really the only thing people have have said about the Burnley series. Really, cool. people have enjoyed it, and uh, long may that continue. So uh, yeah. Anyway, speaking of Burnley, there are still uh, two more episodes to come, and those are today and tomorrow. And this is what else is coming up on the channel this week. It's a bit of a jumbled up week because next week those channel changes I keep talking about will come into, into effect mm -hmm. and as a result of that you're going to get three North Lincolnshire episodes this week. And we're going to go and enjoy some more sunshine aren't we? Yep, yep we're going to go enjoy some more sunshine and walk around the rest of this place which is very nice. I've Guess been out. down below. Yeah. <laughs> I was just about to wrap up there and, and, uh, and Nikki wades in. Hey, with look, a... I told you that this was going to be another 20 minutes. I know it's not going to be 20 minutes. No, I probably think. about 10 minutes. Yeah. So. Well, I've got to get my nose in somewhere, haven't I? I mean, I only appear in one of these every couple of weeks, don't I? It's not like every week. Shall I show up now? No, no, yeah. no. Let's go and enjoy the sun, shall I? Let's say goodbye to these good people. Go on. Here's what's coming up this week. <laughs> I've been Andy, also known as the Village Idiot, and I'm out.